Rusty is a little diesel engine who works at the quarry on the island of Sodor. Rusty's best friends are Reneas and Scarloe. Rusty helps keep their line clear. Sometimes, Rusty works so hard clearing their line that the little diesel forgets there's also work to be done at the quarry. One day, Rusty returned late to the quarry. Sir Topham Hat was cross. Sorry, sir, Rusty's driver said. We were helping Reneas and Scarloe. Sorry, sir, Rusty's driver said. We were helping Reneas and Scarloe. I know you like helping Reneas and Scarloe, but their line is in bad condition. It takes too much of your time, said Sir Topham Hat. I am going to shut it down. Rusty was upset. But what will Reneas and Scarloe do, Rusty asked. They will come and work with you here at the quarry. He had made up his mind. There was nothing Rusty could do. Their line was closed down. Reneas and Scarloe came to work at the quarry. They worked as hard as they could, but they missed the forests and hills. Most of all, they missed their passengers. Rusty could see they were not happy. Sir. Rusty could see they were not happy. Sir Topham Hat came to the quarry with important news. We are going to be blasting for the next two weeks, he said. It won't be safe for you here. I'll have to find you other work. Please, sir, Rusty said. May we use the two weeks to repair Reneas and Scarloe's line? Then they can go back to their old jobs. There are plenty of line workers available, Rusty's driver added. Sir Topham had agreed. When you have only two weeks to complete the job, he said sternly. Reneas and Scarloe's line was covered in rocks and branches. The tracks were broken in several places. Elizabeth, the quarry truck, thought cleaning up the line was ridiculous. What a waste of time, the quarry truck, thought cleaning up the line was ridiculous. What a waste of time, she sniffed. Scarloe was upset. She's right, he said. We'll never get it done in two weeks. We can't give up, said Rusty. The engines worked harder than ever. The time was running out. The next day, Rusty had a very clever idea. If only we had a truck to help us, Rusty sighed. Elizabeth stopped. Only the next day, Rusty had a very clever idea. If only we had a truck to help us, Rusty sighed. Elizabeth stopped. Well, I couldn't possibly help you. Well, I couldn't possibly help you. I'm a quarry truck. Well, we do need a special kind of truck, Rusty teased. I am a special kind of truck, protested Elizabeth. It requires hauling, said Rusty. I can haul, said Elizabeth. And pulling heavy branches, added Rusty. Well, of course I can pull. So you'll do it, said Rusty. Well, of course, said Elizabeth proudly. Elizabeth was as good as her word. She hauled rubbish and pulled branches from the line. She helped remove a fallen sycamore tree from the cattle creek. Thank you, Elizabeth, said Rusty. We couldn't have done it without you. I know, said Elizabeth proudly. Sir Topham Hatt inspected the line. He was very impressed. Sir Topham Hatt inspected the line. He was very impressed. Well done, Rusty, he said. And well done, Elizabeth. We will open this line immediately. Rusty was proud. Reneas and Scarloe were very happy. 
Maybe now Rusty will have time to work at the quarry, said Sir Topham Hatt, and Rusty just smiled.